So in the past, we've made a business card holder, but we need to revise that with some ribs. Let's talk about extrudes and the different ways to do them so that we can create the best support ribs possible. So here we've got a variation of our business card holder. And of course, Business Incorporated, we're proudly an incorporated business. <laughs> so uh, let's say that we want to add some ribs in this blank space here to support uh, the strength of the business card holder. Well, how might we do that? Of course, we know our typical extrude, but I think there are a few extrude features that we haven't yet covered that I think would be helpful here. I think the first one that we can do is maybe a mid-plane extrude. So if I select this plane here and I create another plane, So if I select my YZ plane and maybe offset a plane from that a distance of 1.25, you'll notice we're not in the middle of where we wanna be, but we are able to sketch where we want to be. I'll activate a sketch and maybe I'll make a little rectangle and I'll make sure that I'm coincident to the floor here and then I can dimension this we look at this height of a uh, 0.2, a width of 0.05. It's going to be too thick for molding in real life, but it will do for this example. Maybe 0.75, right? So we've got this nice uh, cross section of a rib, and we can choose extrude. And in our extrusion menu, of course, we can choose mid-plane, and that just uh, mirrors both sides of the extrude, so you can make sure that you are extruding the same on both sides. But of course, we don't want our rib breaking through the wall and intersecting the business cards, so mid-plane is not a good option here. But what if I said two next? Right, uh, two next will stop the rib from going uh, into this wall. And then when I mirror the design intent of going to next is actually carried over and it goes to the next on the other side. So that is one way that we can have an extrusion go to next on both sides is with, but let's cover another way. I'll delete my mirror and delete my extrusion. What if I wanted to uh, go a certain length on both sides? Well, I can certainly do that. I'll choose my sketch and choose extrude. And uh, for this extrusion, I'll go to a depth of 1.907, how about? And there you can see we're not going past the wall and we're going all the way into the wall. So that might be a solution in this particular case. And then I can say dual depth. And I can say, ah, you know what? I want my other side to be, yeah, you know what? 0.15 will work. So we're not going out this other side, but we're going all the way to the wall here. So in this particular case, you can get dual depth to work, but it may not. I also have the option to tell my rib to go to a particular geometry. What that means is if I go to geometry and I select my geometry, let's say here, then it goes all the way up to this face and it stops at that face. And you can tell we've gone a little bit past because we're stopping at this particular face. So two geometry works very well, but in this case, since we have multiple faces, this probably isn't the best option for our ribs. Nonetheless, when we talk about going two geometry, that is what we mean with the Libre. We pick a face and the extrusion goes until it intercepts that face and it can be a pretty complicated face that uh, so are those all of our options for ribs I say not let me actually delete these sketches let me sketch on this face now I'm gonna make a line and I'm gonna make it uh, coincident here and also to this edge here uh, and that's it, right? So 
we've always done sketches that are closed except for sweet paths where to extrude something you have to have a closed sketch not an open one like this where you have two open ends nonetheless i can choose extrude and thin extrude and what that does is it allows me to apply a thickness to my thin line right so on one side i can say i want one inch of thickness or i can give this 0.005 and on side two, I can give this 0.05 if I want it to be not symmetrically thick around my line, right? Wh whatever I want, I can do for thickness. So I'm going to say uh, 0.025 total. And then I can also say to next and simply reverse the direction. And now we go all the way to next. And I've got this beautiful rib. Notice it doesn't interfere with my text on the other side. And it goes to each. You also notice that uh, this is not going around to this corner. So I can edit my sketch. I can get rid of my line. And you'll see how this updates. Look at that. So this, this is quite versatile. It doesn't spill out to the other side like a normal extrude would due to our to next function. And what's really interesting is if I want intersecting ribs and I make some ribs intersect, I can make uh, two sketches that intersect and a Libre knows what to do. So this is one easy tool for being able to make ribs. It's, a, it's just a simple line uh, you need minimal constraints to define a simple line, and you can make complex crossing ribs just like this. With Lastly, maybe I want to have draft. Uh, we talked about draft earlier, where we can draft faces, but I also can choose in my extrusion menu something like, how about three degrees of draft? As you can tell, now we have draft built right into our extrude and we don't have to worry about drafting it uh, at any point. And this is true also for regular extrudes. If I were to make a circle and extrude that, no matter what extrude I'm doing, I have this draft angle option so that I can give this a certain draft angle if I wish. Now I'm, I'm uh, drafting outward there, so I can always uncheck my box to change my draft direction. But that is an overview of extrudes. So we can uh, make different extrudes by doing our regular old blind extrude, our mid-plane extrude, our dual depth, our two next, two geometry, draft, and mirroring along with thin extrudes. So that was a lot of ways to deal with extrusions and make ribs in a Libre. Tune in for the next video where we do things even more interesting.